good future millionaires we back with another banger i'm december demarco fortune 500 marketer and i'm here to share my insights of the market with y'all to hopefully help y'all become better informed investors man salute to y'all for pulling up on the channel we got a few updates today you know we're talking about shiba inu and some major catalysts that we might see coming to the market you know of course uh now we got an estimate that netflix might be particularly accepting cryptocurrencies very soon and you know the main one of course shiba inu so uh i see an article here from last year march 2021 with uh just basically different uh influential people speaking on how uh well basically famed investor tim draper believes netflix will be the next among major companies to invest in bitcoin by including bitcoin on its balance sheet netflix could be the next fortune five fortune 100 company to invest in bitcoin and amazon will have to accept bitcoin as a payment method at least that's the billionaire's tim draper's opinion so now i wanted to touch on that a little bit this is a billionaire who's basically predicting that netflix is soon to start accepting cryptocurrencies now we've seen the talks between shatoshi or the tweets going back and forth from shatoshi mentioning netflix so uh if y'all have seen the latest post from shatoshi it was a screen a lot of different tvs with a new shiba inu logo smiling now if you ask me i believe the background of that smile are the netflix uh basically movies if you go to the basically the home uh page of netflix and you look up the different movies that they have listed it looks like there's a lot of different options of movies behind that smile tell me what y'all think is that what it looks like to y'all but matter of fact i'll also give y'all a look at that real quick just so y'all can see you know what i mean so uh let me change this over real quick so y'all can view that but now take a look at this here this is the logo that we seen from uh you know that that tweet basically or that little short video that we seen so in the background to me that looks like that could be you know different videos i'm not sure so if that were videos back there that would let me know that possibly a partnership is coming from shiba inu and netflix now that's just my assumption this is not financial advice you know but that's just what it looks like to me so that's where uh you know i'm gonna throw my guess out there i see a lot of people doing that but right now quickly let's take a look at the price which uh let's see so the markets right now are up four we're at 4.2 percent right now bitcoin is sitting at thirty seven thousand eight hundred dollars we're sneaking up right now up six percent on the day we got eth at up eight percent on the day eight and a half percent actually sitting at that twenty five hundred level also bnb is up percent on the the week and we got um she or dogecoin right now at 14 cents so those that have been buying that up at 13 cents they're up right now uh, one thing that a lot of y'all have to understand you don't make money by just you know buying one time and just hoping you know it's one way to make money but you can also make money by buying the dip and you know accumulating more of that asset at a lower price so that way when the price goes up slightly you make money now let's say someone who bought you know uh ten thousand dollars worth of dogecoin at 13 cent they could sell at 14 cent and still make a nice profit you know so that's something y'all want to you know keep in mind you can do that and the number doesn't have to be ten thousand i'm just want y'all to you know get the idea that people are basically buying low and selling high they're not just waiting for the prices to make new all-time highs every time before they make some money so now we are here on sheep sheep up just about a half a percent on the day we're sitting at that 21 uh level right now let's take a look at the chart see where we're finding support so we found our lowest level support in recent days in the last week around uh, the 23rd at that 17 level just about the high 16s 1694 just about right now we're trading sideways so a lot of people don't understand still how to read the chart and that basically you know it is it, kind of saddening because that's like getting into a car and not understanding your speedometer not understanding you know how to use your signals not understanding how to even put the car in gear you don't even know you know any of that so what i want to break down to y'all real quick is what it means when the price is trading sideways that means the market is agreeing on the price where we see these candles trading at that's why you notice on the bigger movements downwards or upwards we see big candles big candles 
basically mean more confidence in that movement. It could be, you know, this green candle shows, you know, more confidence in the market pushing up. This red candle shows more mark or more confidence in the market pushing down during this time frame. Now, right here with it trading sideways back to back like this, this lets us know that some action is likely to happen, that we're likely to see some something big, you know, either happen. Now, this could mean it could push to the downside or the upside. But, you know, that's why you want to use other data you know, to determine, but we can basically predict that a big move is about to happen. Now, just looking at this chart right now, to me, this is bullish because at the bottom of a downtrend, we started to find support. We're making higher lows here, as you can see. And also we're starting to get these doji candles forming. Remember, doji candles at the bottom of a downtrend signifies that a trend reversal is likely to happen. So we have a nice little downtrend, even, you know, a bigger one from here, you know, and we got these doji candles forming down here after we found a nice support level. So likely price is going to push back up. So uh, also, I want to talk about a few things. Uh, now, whales have made Shiba Inu their number one holding. We've seen just this week. Wales purchased over $100 million in Shiba Inu. You know, some of the largest ETH wallets have been showing that they are extremely bullish on Shiba Inu right now. So that's a sign we want to connect the dots on and follow smart money. Also, we got another major catalyst. LeBron James has just signed a deal, you know, with Crypto.com basically becoming an ambassador to, uh, you know, help further the efforts into teaching crypto or financial literacy in uh, his academy. So that's going to be interesting to follow along with that. Also, we got more catalysts of um, mass acceptance happening with the with Arizona making Bitcoin a legal tender. So they're in the process of making, you know, uh, regulation or laws uh, or policy to make that an actual thing if it hasn't just yet. And also, we just got news yesterday that the mayor of New York is accepting, you know, converting his salary into Bitcoin. When we see a public officials like this make this move, this is something we do not ignore. Of course, right now they are giving us food. They're pushing the market down. They're talking about raising interest rates. Money is being pulled off the table for the new year. People securing gains. People uh, shorting the market right now as well. That's something we got to talk about you know major institutions making money while everything is going down while they're telling everyone else you know uh right now is a bad time you got to remember there are people making money on the other side so uh you know we just want to have all this information available so we can make better informed decisions because now that we know this information that yeah the market is going down yeah they're telling us everything is all bad but they're making money at the same time while, while it's going down we got to be a little bit more careful with that information and know that it's in their best interest to tell us everything is you know going bad and then eventually what will happen is once the price finds a, a nice support level we'll see more money than we ever seen pumped into these positions that we all you know the, or the people that paper handed out of sold off on and now we'll find out that major whales are or major institutions and top people now are buying the same coin that they just told you that wasn't any good so don't get tricked out of your spot y'all that's all we got for this video if you are interested in joining the private discord and, and checking out some of the plays that we've been calling like i call one of these plays uh let me see one of these plays we just um uh, got into which was Grimace token yesterday. That one more than double just in less than 24 hours, pretty much, of us calling that play. Now, I got another play that I'm calling for free in this video. This is not financial advice. Never risk more than you're willing to lose. It could be a rug pull. I don't know the team. You know, I'm just letting y'all know this is a one that I'm calling out for free that I will be calling, you know, in the Discord. So tap in. So uh, this token here is Baby Lambo Inu. So I want to take a look at the chart real quick with y'all and show y'all why you know it's showing me that this one might be a good time to get into now it just launched yesterday so you know we gotta uh be careful with this one I'm, i believe it just launched yesterday so yeah this one just launched yes yesterday so okay so taking a look at the chart here we're on a 15 minute let's go over to the four hour chart just to take a, a wider look now using technical analysis helps us make better informed decision so what we'll do is pull out some of our technical indicators okay so it's still too new to uh break it down on a four hour so we'll try to on a one hour see if we can get it okay so we've seen a few times 
it, it well actually one time it tapped this lower Bollinger band here, which where which is where the price became a nice buy. And you notice as soon as it tapped that Bollinger band, what happened? The price shot up and pushed to here because the red candles open at the top, close at the bottom. So the movement of this candle during this fifteen or one hour period opened here, pushed all the way down here. Once it touched this Bollinger band buyers pushed the price up and it closed here until it opened the next candle here buyers continued to push it up a little bit more before sellers took over and pushed the price down and it continued to pull down now what we're seeing is it was working its way back towards this lower bollinger band so you can wait until the price wicks down here or you can just see that buyers bought it up in this range and you can establish a position here but also if we take a look at our RSI it shows that it's at a 46 right now so it can still potentially pull back to around that 35 30 level so it could you know give us a uh you could wait to possibly buy in the eights if it pulls back into the, into that range. If you don't want to be early, if you want to just have a more mature decision before you get in, and uh, let's take a look at the at the volume trading volume. So we got a seven thousand dollar sale that just happened, just happened one minute ago. So that would be a nice dip to buy into four thousand five thousand dollar sale before that. Uh, let's see. Two thousand dollar sale before that, so people are taking some profits off the table with this project, which is a good time to, you know, it's a better time to get in versus the time where everything's being pumped up and you end up buying the top and then they pull the price down. And the fact that they just took this much money off the table and the price is at the bottom of a downtrend here again, as we can see, forming doji candles this is a good sign this is a good sign that we want to see yes it could potentially pull back more just to you know fake people out a little bit but eventually we will make new all-time highs with this project so baby lambo inu check this one out the price is at 0.009 now uh this is not financial advice so never risk more than you're willing to lose but i just want to show y'all this project real quick and that's all we got for this video y'all appreciate y'all for pulling up man we are out